Hey, what's up? It's Jack, and today I'm gonna to do this uh, bingo that I saw on uh, Instagram by uh, Core Cubing Association. So essentially, um, if you don't know what a bingo is, it's essentially this like five by five grid, and um, it has a bunch of stuff on it. And if you can get five of them in a row, like in a line, I think either horizontally, diagonally, or vertically, then um, you win or something like that. I don't really know. So um, let's just do this and see how I go. First of all, um, had an annoying judge. Um, definitely, I've been to like six years worth of competition, so I can't think of any specific incidences, um, but you know, I've definitely had that. Got a DNF in the first solve in your first cop. That's pretty specific, um, no. Bought expensive cubes for no reason. I feel like, well, technically there's always like a reason behind like buying a cube, but I've definitely bought cubes like, you know, very impulsively as I'm like, Oh, that looks cool. I might as well just get that as well, kind of thing. Um, so I feel like technically you can't really buy a cube for no reason, but I feel like a very impulsive buy is probably close enough to buying a cube for no reason. So I'm just going to circle that. Travel to another city, country for a cop. Um, yes, I have. So I've been to New Zealand a couple of times, um, Malaysia twice? No, no, only once. I was gonna go again for Asians, but I got postponed. Hasn't got cancelled yet. Um, recently Euro, North American champs and Euros got cancelled though, so um, that's a really big um, RIP. Um, Taiwan for Asian champs, 2018. Uh, I went to France for World Champs 2017, where I came fourth in free plan or kicked out of the podium by my boy Moscow. Rip. Okay, um, yeah, I've traveled a few times anyway. Got sponsored, yeah. So I've been sponsored by the Speedcube shop actually um, on the last three or four months of 2017. If you go back in time to my videos, you'll probably see that. It's around a time where I got like a 20 second oceanic record, I believe. The cubicle from about late 2018 to end of 2019, um, currently none. Pop your cube in a solve at a competition. Um, I think you guys have seen some stuff. Actually, wait, no, hold on. Wait, wait. Pop your co in a at a comp. I feel like I've done it, but I can't think of... I feel like this has happened, but I can't think of a specific instance. No, I think it happened in my scoop once, actually. At least once. I had to pee during a solve. Um, I mean, like, solves generally don't last that long. Like, even for, like, the longest, I guess, single puzzle, like the 7x7, seven seven, maybe, like, up to like 10 minutes. Um, I can't really think of a situation where you need to do that. Maybe in multi-blind, multi-blind lasts for an hour. That's like the longest event. But I always try to make sure I like pee before multi-blind because you know, that's that's probably a wise decision. Uh, maybe you had the urge to pee during a solve, but never actually did it during a solve. That'd be kind of weird. I wonder if anyone's actually circled that, probably. Taking a pick with a cubing celebrity. Um, if Felix Zendex counts, then sure. Um, I don't really take picks too much of other people, unless I want to make dank Instagram content. Um, I just like, I guess, meeting people, but I don't take too many picks. Aside from making dank content for my Instagram, of course, but... Yeah, Felix Zendex counts, then sure. Flex- flex your cubing skills in front of people, um... Yeah. I don't- I think actively try to, but, you know, since I spent so much, you know, time doing cubing related stuff, it inevitably comes up, and then I do a cube with my eyes open then usually it leads to me doing it blindfolded, then people obviously get freaked out because I can do that kind of quickly. Um, it's still kind of fun though, seeing reactions. Even if they get like, you know, not impressed at all, it's still it's still kind of interesting seeing how people react. Ignored plus twos and bad solves during practice. So ignored plus twos, I'm usually sort of strict on it, but I, admittedly I've had a couple of times when I'm just kind of like, eh, you know, close enough. <laughs> bad solves during practice, uh, def that, the second one definitely quite a lot. Um, yeah, that's why it's a good idea to be more mindful and deliberate of your practice. This place to keep at a comp. Um, probably done it before. Once again, I can't think of a specific instance. Um, actually, no, it might have happened last comp? I don't know, but I've, it's definitely happened to me before. I'm gonna circle that. Crit cubing and comeback. I don't think I've actually straight out crit cubing before. Like, maybe I've taken like a break for like up to a week max, but I've always been surprisingly consistent with it since I started, so I wouldn't say I qualified for that. So I just have this massive like gap here, so I still haven't completed it yet. I believe the middle counts is like a free space, so I'm just going to circle that. 
One metal side of comp. Um, yes, I have. Uh, we don't really have metals that often. In Australia, we usually just have certificates and that's it and uh, Tim Tams. Recently, I saw in a Western Australian competition, someone won toilet paper, so... We have that. We don't usually have medals, but I think I have a couple, so... You know, yeah. Being a WCA delegate, nope. Hosted a WCA competition, I have not taken part in non-official comps. So, last week, I did take part in the uh, online competition um, hosted by Speed Keeping Australia. Um, I did like blind method for free by free, which was one of the events, and I got like maybe an 11 or 12 average. I didn't actually check though. Second one was multi blind. Um, I did it really last minute. I wasn't really prepared at all, and I got like five out of ten. So, but that counts. So, started a YouTube channel for cubing. Um, I guess this this counts. So, got a NR slash WR. I like how they don't mention CR, like continental record, so national record or world record, but not continental record. So in terms of those two, I've got three world records in blindfolded solving, which is what I use to kind of like, you know, flex myself with. National record, I actually have one. It's in the 4x4 uh, blindfolded mean category, so average of three for 4x4 four four blindfolded, but um, I think Lennon Hughes took that, away, took that away from me, so I don't hold it anymore. Um, but I did have them. Had to volunteer at a cop forcefully. Uh, I mean, sometimes I'm like kind of hanging out, like at a, you know, table and shit, and people the delegates sometimes tell me, yo, uh, we need help, um, could you volunteer? And I'm just like, sure. I wouldn't really call that forcefully, so... I mean, it would kind of be more like, ask to, but I wouldn't say forcefully, so nah. Spent more on lube than cube. Um, in terms of single orders, I've definitely done that before. Overall, no, but I feel like they're referring to single orders, because I wonder what kind of people would actually have spent more on lubes than cubes, like total. That's five in a row, yes. So I've accomplished one line. I hope I win an imaginary puppy or something. Missed your chance to solve at a comp. Uh, yeah, easily, easily, yeah. Um, usually just when we're arriving too late. Sometimes we'll have to like, you know, travel out like a couple hours for a rural competition that just happens, so. Took care of your cube like a baby. I wouldn't say I take care of my cube to the extent of like, you know, a baby. But I do take, you know, decent care of them. Uh, for example, I tend to like keep my cubes in boxes so they aren't like, they don't get influenced as much by like dust in my pocket or something when I put it in there. Um, I wouldn't say to the extent of my baby because as you saw just now, I kind of threw that around a bit. I wouldn't do that with my baby. Um, that would be probably against the law or something. So, nah. B2 Nationals or World, World Cup. Didn't say World Championship, but World Cup. Um, I have not been to the Rubik's uh, Red Bull World Cup before, um, but I've been to Nationals, so I got another line, yes, to woohoo. I don't know why I'm drawing like a, a really long baguette instead of like, you know, a normal line. Okay, last one, record yourselves at a comp, yeah, of course. So I've got um, two lines. I don't really know what the significance of, significance of that is, aside from the fact that I drew two mega long um, red hollow baguettes and a lot of circles. So yeah, that's about it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this random video. I might make more people like this in the future. Um, yeah, bye.